Hello. Welcome back to Hidden Gems. My name is Arden Thomas. I'm the Syncom Small Talk Product Manager. Hidden Gems is where we show you capabilities of the product that you may not be aware of, but we think you will benefit from. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please send them to me, Arden Thomas at Thomas at syncom.com. So today's hidden gem is called Quick Tips. Give a, a few quick tips to, to make your, your day-to-day programming in Syncom Small Talk quicker and easier. Just some, some small things that can make a big difference over time. And I have one new one for you. And that is finding variable references. Now, if you have, say, a method here, and someone recently asked, what if I want to see all the references? I want to highlight all of, of one of the, of the variables. Can I do that? It would be wonderful to do that. And it was noted that, yes, you can do that. So let's say, for example, we want to see every everywhere a new list occurs in this method. If we highlight it, right click on it and say browse variable references there we have it so someone was was noting that some other IDEs did something similar to this could we do it and we absolutely can let's do that with with name browse variable references so you can see everywhere that exists and this is helpful particularly if it's a, if it's a large larger larger method and you want to see everything and not not overlook something and there it is. Okay, that is quick tip tip number one. Here is one we've talked about before. Let's say you've got a workspace and you want to you want to evaluate this. So you the standard way you you highlight it and you can you can do a number of things. You can execute it, you can execute it and print the results, you can execute it and inspect the results, or go into debug. So the standard way again, highlight it and you can execute it. Or here we want to print it to see the see the results, or of course we can inspect the results. But there's another way. And you it, it, this isn't obvious, so it wouldn't everybody wouldn't automatically know it. But if you just have the cursor to the right of the expression, and this works in the, the method browsers also, you can in fact, executing it, execute it. It's just like highlighting it. So that is quick tip number two. And then something uh, that I find extremely useful, and I've talked to a number of other developers and, and they find it useful also. I'm going to show you, of course, you know the browser. You open up the browser, you see everything. You can get have access to basically everything in your image right there. What if you want a subset of that? Well, we showed you in a, in a previous Hidden Gems, so this is Open a System Browser, shows you everything. But what if you just want to see just the packages from, from, say, your local store? We show you how to set up and add this icon right here. This says Browse My System. And what do we see? We see just the packages that are from my my own personal store called my store so sometimes you want to go directly to your code to work with it so you you don't have to wade through and find it if it's spread out all over i find this really useful another thing is say you've been working for the day and you've got a number of changes and of course you want to publish if you weren't using store you'd want to file them out or, or save them in some manner or if you're using store, you want to publish them. Well, what's changed? This Browse Unpublished will show you just the packages that have not been published, so you can go and you can, you can publish them. So again, standard browser, just my stuff, and just the things that have changed. Quick access to these makes makes programming more more pleasant and more productive. Those those modifications are in a hidden gem hidden gems video called Hidden Gems Practical Pragmas and Productivity because these are are done with 
with pragmas, and I, I find them rather productive. And here's the link. You can search this in YouTube. You can also find it on our website, syncomsmalltalk.com. And here is the, the YouTube link directly to that. So to recap, quickly find all the variable references in a method. It highlights them. We saw that. New list. Highlight. Instead of highlighting, you can just put your cursor at the end of an expression and execute it. And third, some additional icons here in your launcher to quickly give you access to just your stuff and just your changes so you can publish them. And those are some quick tips for this Hidden Gems. Until next time, have a fantastic time productively programming in Syncom Small Talk. Thank you.